Hi, this is Chico here, and you are in Mariners TV. What time is it? It's Marin Mariners TV time. So, leave that satisfying afternoon's work. Certainly was. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, whenever whenever an opposition team change change manager, um, the first game after that, you know, you never know what you're going to get in terms of new players that might come in, players that want to impress. Um, so we, you know, we said to all the players that we can't take any anything from you know the current league position. Um, but I thought, you know, after after the first 20, 25 minutes of the game, I thought we really stamped our authority on the game and. And uh, once we got that first goal, you know, we, I, I think the, the class showed in our in our side, and uh, it was a really, really good um, away performance. You started the game with the same team. I finished the last game. Yeah. Was it in terms of just looking for more attacking wise, so, so want to unleash those four on a team like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got we've got fantastic attacking options. We were delighted with the way that uh, the impact that. David Foley and, and Carl Finnegan had on the game in the second half uh, on Tuesday night and felt that off the back of that they've, they've deserved to start today and uh, yeah you know that front four you know is you know very potent on, on paper but but then again so are the lads that are on the bench and, and, and that we haven't got available today as well so it's it's fantastic competition to have all over the pitch and uh, again, the three subs, you know, I thought Urson Wander came off the bench, you know, unfortunately Robbie Briggs picked up an injury after about 15 minutes for Urson to come off the bench that early in the game and the impact that he had, you know, his contribution for the first goal, which got, you know, give us a real lift, um, was brilliant. And, uh, you know, the, you know, Gary Brown came on late in the game, some, you know, some minutes under, under Gary's belt. Um, and obviously Dan Wright came on as well and, and did some great things in the, in the second half. So. All in all, it's been a really positive day for us. David Foley scored his first goal of his yeah. second spell as well. Yeah. Were you pleased with him? With yeah, of course. Him? You know, we we already knew, of course, what what David's going to bring to the table, so to speak, for us. Um, but to get that first goal, you know, for any forward, um, even if you've been at a club before, to get that first goal will hopefully just add to his confidence and add to his belief that he or, that he already has, I'm sure. And uh, you know, onwards, onwards, and upwards. Today was yourself and Graham's 100th win in charge. Mm -hmm. How proud are you of that record? Immensely proud. You know, if you if you'd if you'd told us, you know, just over two years ago that it would have taken what 123 games or whatever it was to get 100 wins, then I think you know we would have would have had a little little laugh at you. But um, we we're obviously you know delighted. We are proud of that record. Very proud of that record. Uh, but we just said to the players there, you know, let's let's try and get the next hundred as soon as possible. And it, it's just about that constant drive to, to to continue to better ourselves. You know, me and Graham try to you know embody that mentality to try and con continually better what we do, and uh, we you know we try and push that message to the, to the players. So there's definitely not going to be any sitting you know sitting on our laurels and, and giving ourselves a massive pat on the back. It's just business as usual on Tuesday night. Can we get the uh, can we get the first win of the, of the of hopefully the next hundred under our belts? You know, at the first given opportunity. You mentioned Briggs's injury. How is he at the moment? Uh, it's a t it's a it's a tough one to assess. So he's taken a real heavy kick to the to the, the top of his calf. Um, you know, as with a lot of these kind of injuries, we're going to have to see how it settles down over the next 48 hours, and uh, and we'll assess it from there. But I think you know there's a. I don't think there's much of a chance of him playing on Tuesday, that's for sure. Just finally, you mentioned Tuesday's game there, Mortworth Town, it was a good competition for us last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you think we're going to expect more young sisters to sort of shine in that one this season as well? Yeah, so, you know, we've got obviously lads, established first team players that um, that need more minutes at this particular moment in time. And we've also got lads who've been working extremely hard with us on a daily basis in, you know, the under, under 19s academy programme. Um, who deserve an opportunity to to put the shirt on and get that experience of, of, of playing in the first team? You know the lads that contributed to to the run that we went on last year. You know were, were exceptional, and uh, we always earmark this competition at the beginning of this season again as as an opportunity to to help develop some of our younger players and and again use it as 
you know, the, the, there's players in that first team dressing room who are chomping at the bit to to, to, to get their opportunity to show you know where they you know put their name in the in the mix so to speak for for the FA Cup game on on Saturday, and that can only be healthy for everybody everybody concerned. You know, I don't think there's any harm in having you know the, the older, more experienced lads just have a little look over their shoulder to see you know the potentially the next wave of of talent coming through and you know and, and you know I think that's a healthy thing to see.